Hey, what's up guys? Crazy here, back in Omen Sky Beyond, and today what I have for you all is probably the best and easiest money-making method currently in the game. And no, it's not this huge base you see over here, it's actually something a little bit different. And to be more specific, this is going to be all about wiring loom. We're going to be purchasing a ton of these, trade these in, crash the market, and make huge amounts of profits. So if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be super appreciated it and let's get started and there's a few things that you kind of need to keep in mind before uh, jumping in and doing this method you will need a starting capital so if you have a few million units this is going to be best but uh, honestly you can start with as low as a few hundred thousand units and still be doing a ton of money because it's going to progress from there so as you can see I am starting in a rather rich system this is the top of the line high supply tier 3 rich system some of the other prerequisites involve of course the economy scanner so you will want this so you can see um, what economy each system has because we will be moving quite a bit from system to system as well as a few hyperdrive upgrades so you can have that nice range and maybe even the NDM hyperdrive so you can uh, reach any system in the game but otherwise there's not much else you need and of course also some inventory size because we're going to be purchasing quite a few of these wiring looms so let's actually start from the space station and this is where like 95% of the trading is going to be done and I'm just going to go over here at the outpost itself and purchase the entire stash. In this case, there's 174 that sell for a total of about 10 million. So my starting capital is 34 million, almost 35. But as you can see, you can start with just 10 for a full stash. You don't need more than that. Um, so I'm just going to buy the entire stash, just like that. So what I'm going to do from this point on is I'm going to go to a different system. The second system is where the actual method starts working because it's there where we will crash the market. So uh, going into my galactic view, from this point on, I'm going to search for an exclusively high tier 3 rich system. And yeah, as you can see, I just found an affluent system really easily so I'm going to jump right into it. Once you reach it, just go to the training post and start selling. And the way you'll want to do this in order to properly crash the market is to sell everything in one single batch. If you sell it in multiple transactions or if it's split in your inventory, you're going to be going at a loss because the, the price will progressively go down as you sell. So let me just exemplify if I sell all of this and go back into the buy section. As you can see, the wiring loom is now 47% off, as it used to be, and if I go for the full stack, this time around of 287, almost double what I purchased previously, as you can see, it now only costs less than what the previous stack, that was only half of this, is what it used to cost. So that's why I recommended having a big inventory size, hopefully having a full cargo size to just throw all of this in because only five and only 10 of them stack at the same time. So you don't want to split these between, for example, Exosuit and Starship or Exosuit, Starship and Freighter. You want to have these all into one single inventory so that you can make one single transaction. But as you can see, I didn't make that much of a profit. We're back to 25 million. I have like 10 million worth of this. So it's like 35 million that I have just spent. And that is because this is where the actual uh, method starts working. It's from the second system because we just started crashing the market. So let's go ahead and do just that. We're going to go ahead and search for a different system, another rich one, which is where we're going to be selling our goods. So again, back into my collective view and I'll just be searching for rich systems. This is the third terminal or the second buy. Going to selling and I'm going to sell the entire batch of wiring loom, which in this case is going to cost 14 million. And remember, I've spent about eight on them. So I'm already at uh, a nice little profit over here, 40 million from 34 or 35 that I had. But now because my, uh, my market is crashed, I can pretty much do this continuously. So from this point on, as you can see, it's a 77% drop in price. So this is going to exponentially drop in price 
as you progress through all of this and you're going to repurchase part of the batch that you just sold. So for example, I just sold like 200 of these pieces and the system already probably got like 100 or 150 of these, case in which I can buy almost 400 at dirt cheap, like 4 million, like just 4 million and that is a almost 80% drop in price. So from this point on, by the way, cool ships, we're going to go to the next effluent system and next and next and next and the way you do this is once you get started it will exponentially start making you even more money so the profits are going to be pretty much insane because eventually you will work your way up to 80% discounts so let's go in the third or fourth system I can't really remember so here's one high supply just go to it, really easy. And uh, let me show you actually how this entire market crash works. Um, going over the wiring loom, this system only has 113 that sell for 59,000 units. So about 5 million for the full stash. But if I go in and just sell all of my wiring looms, which uh, is now done for a way bigger price, like let's just do that, 10 million, 20, almost 20 million. And I've spent 4 million on this. So that is quite significant. And if I were to sell them, bam, I just did. And that puts me at 54 million. And uh, look at this, the entire wiring loom is now 78% but there's 500 of them dude this is insane there's 500 wiring looms and they keep increasing as you purchase more sell more purchase more so again the more you advance in this method the more uh, inventory capacity you will need but the more money you will make so from this point on I'm not even sure how much I've spent like 6 million is what we spent so we should make a profit of about 20 million just from these transactions holy damn so let's go in the next system i believe that the market is going to be permanently crashed on the old systems that i did and i believe that there's a two hour window for it to reset so that's why i'm going to new systems all the time so uh, again a different space station so we're gonna go in and sell everything 135 is what we have over here and i will just go ahead sell these all 505 for let's see what amount like 10 20 25 million so there you have it 25 million and that brings me to 74 million units really easy and nice uh, going so we're going to go into the buy side and we're going to be purchasing 600 of these i hope i can fix these in my inventory yeah eventually you will run out of cargo slots so you will have to fit however many you can but you can still go in and for example split them within two inventories though i'm not really sure how good that is going to be because uh, eventually the prices drops if you sell them in two batches you're going to sell the other batch the second one at a loss i had 74 now i have 66 so this entire transaction cost me only like what 8 million for like 600 or almost 700 of these that is quite big so i'm going to do one final transaction but i believe that from the first point on to the second one you're going to constantly do 20 20 million profit per trade and that is like every couple of minutes so uh, i don't think there's any other money making method in the game that gives you 20 million in two minutes of playing so uh, again just curious a hundred of these but uh, I'm just going to go in, sell 620, so again, full batch, and it's going to be like 30 million, dude. Yeah, 31 million, so this is a profit of 22 million from this point on, so selling it, and I believe I just made 100, almost 100 million in just, like what, 10 minutes? Yeah, this is what I am currently dealing with, just insane, and if I were to do this for like an hour i would definitely feel like two ships worth of just wiring loom so uh, you can even like use other materials if you want to but wiring loom is always abundant there's always tons of it it sells for the highest amount of units outside of the trading goods so uh, that's why i recommended using these so exosuit going in 620 for 31 million and that puts us at 121 million and then if I go in and sell the rest of them from my actual ship um, they're going to sell for only 1 million 105 of them so uh, it's uh, again that's why I said it's not worth it to sell 
um, in two batches as you can see the price already dropped to 81.5 percent so if you do this on the space station and then go to a trading post the trading post won't care about the fact that you just crashed the market over to the space station so you can in theory go to it and sell the second batch you can definitely go in and uh, sell in two batches one batch at the space station and another one at the trading post so if i were to go over here and just sell everything that i have and go to the sell section um, as you can see there's no market crash the market is still uh, minus 9.1% which is uh, typical this is exactly what you want it's not minus 81% so you can do this from space station to trading post as well but unfortunately you cannot do this vice versa from the trading post to space station because the trading post doesn't hold wiring looms or not as many if at all if you do this for an entire day you're going to definitely make a whole billion especially if you get a good starship which unfortunately on this playthrough i don't currently have but that is all for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to comment like and subscribe also activate that notification bell and i will see you guys in the next one so peace out